Hi, my name is Jill Dajewski. And I'm Brian Dajewski. So Brian and I uh, serve in a couple of communities currently. One is called Maple Hill Estates, and it's a mobile home park in Corcoran, Minnesota. And then the other one is in Dayton, Minnesota. So the mission of Mobile Hope is to honor God through building relationships, hope, and a culture of achievement within mobile home communities. And what we do is we focus on four areas, and those four areas are education, a connection to resources, healthy activities, and faith development. And we have found that those four areas really make up what Mobile Hope is all about. So the first time that I was introduced to Maple Hill Estates uh, Mobile Home Community in Corcoran, it was 25 years ago. And I was shocked to find out that this mobile home community was 10 minutes from our church and I didn't know it exists. Here were 189 homes and I did not know this community exists. And I came to realize that this is not unusual. Um, most of the mobile home parks, people drive by. I don't know if it is intentional or unintentional, but they're kind of tucked away. And people drive by and maybe notice a sign, but never consider how many families call that home. And as we've gone into this deeper, we've realized that actually in Minnesota, there are 900 mobile home parks just in the state of Minnesota. And we have found that a lot of these communities don't have the connection to resources. They're tucked away, they're invisible. And there's churches that are just around the corner that maybe haven't considered, or maybe they are wondering how could we get plugged in and get to know our neighbors. So there's a lot of needs that we've noticed are present in these communities. Mobile home communities are filled with individuals that are under-resourced. Um, they are really struggling to make ends meet, and so they have really tough decisions to make. And so Mobile Hope's desire is to help those individuals and those families to um, be connected to resources, to make those things uh, more easy for them, uh, but then also to build relationships so that they can connect with each other, connect with um, the ownership, connect with the broader community, and really accomplish the goals that they have for themselves and for their families. So if you're thinking, I've never considered this, and you're wondering, what is it like in a mobile home community? What are the needs? My suggestion is to contact us and come and see firsthand what is being offered at the community center. Look at the programs that are being offered. Walk the streets, ask questions. And I would also say, think about the things that you're passionate about. Think about the things that keep you up at night, things that anger you or disappoint you. God may be nudging you to try something different. And it may be through Mobile Hope or at the community center that you can use your skills and your abilities and your passions to build relationships, to serve a need. And we would love to be able to have the chance to talk more about that with you. And I think um, in Luke 10, you know, Jesus says the two most important things to do are to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. And then he asks the question, who is my neighbor? Or he's asked the question, who is my neighbor? He then goes into the whole story of the Good Samaritan. And I think what's interesting about that is a lot of uh, these communities have um, churches that surround them all over the place. And they want to get involved, but they're not quite sure how. What we learned in moving into the community eight years ago is that the needs that are in these communities are um, pretty dramatic in some cases, and having some church partners that walk mm -hmm. alongside Mobile Hope is super important, um, where we can have families partner with other families. We have families that mentor some of the students. We're in desperate need of more mentors for the teenagers in particular and the preteens that we're working mm -hmm. with, in addition to the regular um, uh, volunteer positions like for homework help and for working with Journey or Treehouse. Um, but it's really important for te for it's really important for churches to come alongside Mobile Hope and other nonprofit organizations um, to be able to look at these communities as their neighbors because they really are, uh, and instead of driving by them or seeing them as invisible uh, with regard to the larger larger community. We really appreciate your prayers. Um, Brian and I both went to seminary and there were no classes on this. And so we have found um, the needs are great and sometimes can be overwhelming. So we really need wisdom um, for what to say yes to, what to say no to. Uh, we need God to show up and heal. And that we know how best to communicate God's hope and that individuals come to know God as a personal God and a God that really desires to be a part of their life 
and regardless of their circumstances. So we'd really appreciate that. So I would say um, we depend on uh, prayer and we have, we have depended on prayer since the beginning of this ministry. Uh, we have really tried to make this a journey of faith and take steps as he has led. So I would really ask and covet your prayers with regard to the direction of the ministry and where we're going to go. Um, we're trying to respond to the needs that are there. And I think that um, right now we're in a position where we're trying to discern um, what's the next step for us? How do we become even more significant and how do we make a more of a difference um, really at the root level? Mm -hmm. So we started out addressing things that we thought were needs like um, education and homework help. They're always their needs for sure and they'll always be needs. Concentration of these things are so significant in these communities and how do we address that? How do we help families to um, build resilience so that they can overcome some of the challenges that are present? Mobile home communities do come with some unique challenges, and we didn't understand that really until we moved in. And living there for eight years, we, we understood things like in winter in Minnesota, the number of pipes that freeze in, in every community every year is overwhelming. How do we address that as a need? How do we um, help families to overcome some of their fears or some of the early experiences that they've had? How do we help them to understand how to better parent and to really serve the needs of their families. They really want the same outcomes and desires as you or I do. Uh, they just want someone to come alongside of them and help them along with that. So as a former outreach pastor, I saw a lot of times when uh, people would get engaged with um, overseas mission trips or maybe urban mission trips and they would get really fired up and they would begin to see how their talents and passions could be used by God and they would connect and see God working in and through them. And then they would come home and they would be looking for ways to engage and not quite sure where or how to do that. And so one of the advantages of Mobile Hope is when you come back into your community from those experiences, let's leverage that. Let's um, use those passions and those same talents mm -hmm and be able to serve right in your own backyard. These mobile home parks, um, like Jill said, there's over 900 in the state of Minnesota alone. There's a lot of places to engage. And in those communities are very much a different culture, similar to you going over to another culture and seeing poverty in those communities. And so if you are an individual and you are passionate, you wanna find ways to engage, we can help with that. If you are a church pastor and you're looking for ways to really enliven the faith of the people that are in your congregation, we can help with that too. Not because it's us doing it, but it's because when people engage and use their talents for God and for serving, uh, their faith comes alive. Mm -hmm. And when your faith comes alive, what you're reading, what you're singing, what you're experiencing in church and hearing in messages become so much more real to you and you become passionate about it. Mm -hmm. And so um, we certainly want to become available for that if you want to come and uh, work with us or work with other mm -hmm. communities or just have questions about how best to engage with this mobile home community that's near you or your church. And I would say beyond the churches, um, some of the other collaborations that we have like with the schools mm -hmm. and the food shelf and some of those organizations that really are wanting to do good but they don't have the connections, that's where I think that collaboration piece has been so critical over the years is that we know the families, we are able to connect, we're able to, that relationship piece is there and they are so grateful because they're able to use their skills and their passions in a way that it wasn't possible before. Yeah, I think it takes um, serving to the next level because mm -hmm. going and doing a project is good and it gets you excited, but it's really all about relationships. Mm -hmm. And relationships are when you can truly make a difference. That's how Jesus worked. That's how the most effective ministries work and nonprofits work. Mm -hmm. And so um, we, we want to help families to engage in those ways. We're Mobile Hope, and we would love to partner with you to help build relationships and make a difference.